Uh, another interesting question by ftalib at gmail.com asking, uh, given the level of youth expected to enter into employable age in the next 10 years in emerging economies and the expected growth rate of the economies, how can the perceived unemployment be handled given that system may not have the capacity to take up all of these people despite the skill sets that, that are available? So this may be... Jose, you would want to answer this one. It's more of a con like an yes, if economics I question. If I understand well the question, it, it brings us back to a, a little bit of the big picture yeah. in terms of, um, you know, in terms of, for instance, of the unemployment figures that I was given in, in Europe. Uh, 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 you know, there's always been some structural problems, and the crisis has made them worse, like the skills mismatch. We haven't talked directly about that, but there's a big issue of skills mismatch now, partly because if you're unemployed for a long time, then you're not fit and you're rusty and so on. So uh, even if there is a strong recovery, it will be more difficult and it will take more time now to match the people searching for jobs with the companies uh, uh, looking for. And in fact, uh, the, the figures are very clear that uh, uh, you have this uh, ironic situation, paradoxical situation, that in the middle of this very high unemployment, many companies have high vacancies. They cannot find the right people for, yeah. for the job. So even, you know, so you have these two situations at the same time. Uh, this crisis has been very devastating and very damaging, partly because it was synchronized and so on. So what's happening now, you know, we, if you compare with previous crises, uh, you have an economic recovery. There's always was a time lag. But for instance, in the United States, it was very clear that you relatively quickly, you would have a, traction, good traction in the labor market. So you, have, you would have economic recovery, and then one year, two years afterwards, you would have labor market recovery. Now it's not happening. There's some kind of, there are many disconnects. Some of the disconnect is the skills mismatch, but there are others. And this is why uh, in this conversation, ultimately, it is also extremely important um, what the macroeconomic policies are, the, the policy coordination, the kind of issues uh, that the G20 uh, discusses. And to get back to, to, to what the, the G20 mantra of you know, high, sustained, and, and balanced growth. Uh, so you know, there's that kind of conversation. And just to finish with one aspect, and this is very much the public policy side of the debate, we, um, uh, you know, it's very important that governments see that the responsibility for youth employment, for employment generally, is not just with the ministers of labor. Uh, you have tremendous. Uh, um, instruments and things to do, but it is a responsibility of the macroeconomic authorities, of the central banks, of the ministers of finance, because you are not going to really make a dent on the problem unless the necessary investments in higher education, in vocational training, and so on, are included in the budget. So the ministers of finance have to feel that they have to contribute to solve this issue as well. And this is a matter of policy coherence, which is extremely uh, relevant.